In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to set up your delivery points on Tecalumet's My Tecalumet cloud-based fuel inventory management software. The first thing you're going to want to do is select inventory data from the left-hand side <clears throat> and navigate to products. Before we can set up our delivery points, we want to make sure that all the products that we're going to be dispensing are put into the system. As you can see, I already have diesel, DEF, off-road diesel, unleaded gas, and coolant uh, put into the system for my uh, fuel terminals. For you, if you want to add a product, you're going to select this button here, Add Product, put in the name of the product, so in this case we'll do 10W30 Oil, the fuel terminal name, Oil Bay, and Save. You can see now product number 6, 10W30 Oil, has come up. Now we want to navigate to Fuel Terminals. We want to select the fuel terminal that we want to edit. So in this case, I'm going to select a, one, a super box because it has multiple dispense points. So Delivery Point 1, you can see here on the left side we have Delivery Points and then it shows you 1 through 5. So Delivery Point 1, now here's where we can edit all the different details. So the product is a drop down menu gives you access to all the products we've already set up. So let's say we want to make product number one or dispense point one 10W30 oil. You Simply select that. Then we have the ability to control the different parameters. So dispense limit amount has to do with how much product can be dispensed during one transaction. The time limit is how long you can dispense in that moment. Um, 10, 15, 20 minutes. The timeout has to do with how long it's going to run without pulses occurring. Uh, basically, how long can they dry run the pump before it gets shut off? Once you decide what you want your dispense limit to be, like for example, if it's 10W30 oil, most likely we're not going to be putting out more than maybe 10 gallons. That's honestly a lot, but it depends on how much you're, you're dispensing. The dispense time, you want to do something that makes sense. Let's say you have a pump that does 10 gallons per minute, so you want to give them no more than 5 minutes and then your timeout, uh, most pumps can handle a one minute run, dry run without having an issue. Uh, right now I have no fuel tank because I don't have tank level monitoring set up. Um, and that's something that we're going to be introducing later and, and going into more detail. So you can see here if I hit save, that actually takes me out of that uh, fuel terminal or super box. But you can see if I go back in, it shows that delivery point one is now 10W30 oil. So what you want to do is basically repeat this step for all five delivery points if you have a super box or two if it's a two hose or if it's a wonder box you just select that. So here's delivery point two. We want to set the dispense amount to let's say 100 gallons. The maximum time to let's say 20 minutes. Timeout one minute and we'll say the product is diesel. Delivery point three we're going to change the product to def. We'll say that we have a maximum dispense amount of 50 gallons, 20 minutes, timeout of one once again. Um, you can save that. You just want to repeat this for each aspect. Um, it's important that you have your product set up before you come in here and, and do this, otherwise it won't be available on the drop-down list. Um, that's for a super box. A wonder box is the same thing. You click on it. On the left-hand side you see delivery point one. You have all the same settings. Um, you can change the product there. Uh, with, Of course with, um, with the wonder box you're not going to have multiple delivery points, you only have one. Um, for now, that's really the basics of setting up a delivery point. Um, the main thing, just to, as an overview, is you need to make sure your products are set up first, then you click on fuel terminal, select which fuel terminal you want to edit, you have to repeat this for each one, and then go in, click on the delivery point, and change the settings that you want according to what you want. At this time, there's no way to replicate that other than to do it manually. Thank you guys for watching and tune in for the next video.